Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. Today I am going to prepare a video on barcode printing in BI report Oracle Fusion. So in this video we will see that how to print the barcode in BI report in Oracle Fusion. For that first of all I have to go to my Oracle Fusion instance. This is the catalog page of my Oracle Fusion instance. Okay, so I will write all the steps which I am going to perform over here for printing the barcode. Okay. So I am in the notepad. First, I will write my aim. What I am going to do? So print barcode in BI report Oracle Fusion. So this is nothing but the our aim. So what we have to do for that? First step is create the data model. For creating the data model, we need a query. So I am having one query with me which I had used in my previous videos also. I am just taking that query as a sample. So I had paste that query. So this query we are going to use in this video. So what I am doing over here. Here I am taking two tables. Few headers all and few lines all. And uh, I am joining the two tables based on this join condition that is a dot po header id equals to b dot po header id. A and B are the alias for the header table and the line table and I am hard coding one segment one segment one is nothing but the our PO number I am hard coding it the one PO number over here because I, I don't want to fetch lot of data I want to fetch some particular lines only then from the A tables means PO header table I am taking the ID and the other columns I am taking from the PO lines table okay so this query is done okay so we will create the data model by using this query so i'm just copying this query and i'm going to the catalog page so here i am clicking on new then after here is the data model when i clicked on data model it will redirect me to the data model page and i'm in my data model page now i want to create the new data model so i am clicking on this plus icon then after we have to create here SQL query. So I'm clicking on SQL query and I'm just pasting my query which I copied from the notepad over here. Okay, then I have to give one meaningful name. So this is nothing but the barcode report. So I am giving the name as barcode underscore DM. DM is nothing but the data model. Then I'm choosing the data source. I'm choosing the Fusion DB as my data source and I'm just clicking on OK. When I clicked on OK, it will generate one group for me. You can see over here group G1 is generated. Now what I have to do, I have to save this data model. So I am saving this data model. Where I have to save this data model, I can save anywhere in my folders also, in shared folders also. So, but I am saving in the shared folder. There I will create the folder with name test underscore nk and I am creating that folder after creation of that folder I am saving it with the name barcode underscore dm dm is nothing but the data model I am copying the same name into the description section also and I am just clicking on ok you can see over here my data model is saved ok so next step I have to do I have to save the sample data for creating the layout so I am going into the data tab then I am clicking on view button then I have to click save as sample data generating the data model is done now what I have to do I have to generate the templates so I am writing the second step over here generate the template so I am generating the template for that I have to click on create report button when I clicked on create report button, it will redirect me on the template page. Now I am just canceling this because I don't want to prepare the template by using this method. Now I have to upload my data model here. So here is the search icon. I have to click on that. Then after I have to upload my data model. So I am just clicking on data model. It is uploaded. You can see over here the data model names came here. Then I have to click on this generate button and then i have to give one name so what is this it is the template so i am giving the name as bar underscore code underscore template then i am clicking on generate so it will generate the template for me 
so you can see over here the template is generated now what i have to do i have to save this layout so i am saving the layout at the same location where i save the data model i am saving it with the name bar underscore code underscore layout and i am copying the same into the description section also and i just click on ok when i clicked on ok you can see over here it is giving me the message saved so our layout is saved so i am just running this report so view report it is loading and i can see the output so here are the two rows for that particular po number so that's why two rows are coming so now if i am clicking on pdf it will give me the pdf output but what i have to do i want to make this 2144 as the barcode means it should not print like 2144 it have to print into the barcode format for that what i have to do i have to go to here setting then i have to go to edit report when i click on edit report it will redirect me on the report layout and then i have to click here on edit button when i clicked on edit button you can see over here it will download the rtf file for us so we are having the rtf file so for printing the barcode you have to do one thing you have to download the dot tft file so we are done with the second step now what we have to do we have to download the dot tft file from where you can download just you have to go to google and if you write three of nine barcode font tft then it will redirect you some pages where you can get that tft file easily okay so from any site you can download so i already download that tft file on my local so you can see over here this is the tft file three of nine underscore new dot tft okay so you have to download this file then after what you have to do you have to open the template uh, i will write one more step download the dot rtf file let me call it as a template also next step is change the font format to bc309 in template so i am on my template so i want to make this po header as the barcode so here i am selecting that po header field and i have to go here i have to write here bc309 and just i am pressing enter so you can see over here it is generated like as a barcode and i am saving this file i just saved this and i am closing this now i am going to my oracle fusion instance so here is my oracle fusion instance now i have to delete this template i am deleting this then i have to add new one so i am clicking on add new layout then i have to upload over here for uploading i have to give the name so i am giving the name as barcode underscore template then i have to upload the file so i have uploaded the file then i have to select the file type so my file type is rtf so i am selecting here rtf and then i have to give the locale my locale is english so i am selecting english over here okay then i am clicking on just upload so you can see over here it is uploading and now it is done and you can see over here it is saved also then i have to click on view report when i clicked on view report it will load the report and you can see over here it is barcode format but it is not barcode formatted it is just showing that because of the template when you clicked on pdf or any other formats it will show you the number only or if you run by yes job still it will show you the number only okay so for that we have to do the setting which type of a setting so i will tell you that so for this do the font mapping setting so you have to go to here administration go to administration then after you have to go to manage bi publisher here is the manage bi publisher you have to click on this manage bi publisher 
then it will redirect you to this page so next is manage bi publisher then after that you have to go to font mapping here is the option font mapping so you have to go to font mappings so font mappings okay then what do you have to do so you have to upload the .tft file so next step is upload the .tft file so here i am clicking on choose and i am choosing the .tft file and you can see over here it is loaded then what i have to do i have to give here the add font mapping so i am writing here eight step add the font mapping so what is my font type so it is bc3 of 9 so i am giving the same name over here you can give any name over here no problem then you have to select the style as normal and weight as normal you can select the other also bold or italic that is depend on you then for the target font type compulsory you have to write true type so just i'm mentioning here give target font type equals to true type always then which type of font i had uploaded i had uploaded this font that is 3 of 9 underscore new dot tft so i am selecting that one and i am just clicking on apply okay so what i had done i had just uploaded i had selected font file uploaded that font file by clicking on upload and then i had done this mapping these two things are done then you have to click on return okay now i am going back to the my report output again so here is my report so i am just clicking on again view report so it is loading so you can see over here it is barcode but previously also there is a barcode so now i am going over here and just i am clicking on pdf after clicking on pdf it have to show me the po header this is as a barcode so i am clicking on pdf and it is showing me as a barcode so you can see over here so this is because of the font mapping one more thing i want to tell you that sometime it will take time to configure this .tft file because in an oracle fusion it is all depend upon the internet so for configuring a sometime it will take time so just refresh over here if it is not showing it will show you after some time so this is all about the barcode printing in the oracle fusion bi reports in next video i'm going to start with the otbi reports in oracle fusion if you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe my channel technical talks with naresh to get more videos on oracle sql plsql oracle application oaf and other technologies thank you